Okay, I believe we are recording. All right. Um, let's start the meeting. I'm going to make a motion to do that. Who would like to second it? Second it. Cool. All right. Should I try to do the, the minutes if you lead to the... Oh, if you would like to do them, that would be great. <laughs> that would be less work for me. I'm happy to do it. <laughs> uh, all right. All those in favor of calling the meeting to order, say aye. 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 Cool. OK. It is August 9th. 2022 NAM board directors meeting. Uh, the agenda and the minutes and the director's report information is all in Zoom chat for people to click on and open up as needed. Um, Preparing as always. Uh, you know, I, I do want to spend a couple minutes on it because we're starting on time. How's everybody doing? Let's go around and just, you know, touch base with people, see how their summer's been. Um, Nola, what's up? I'm doing good. Summer's going well. Um, yeah, heat wave's a bit crazy. I do not have an air conditioned house, um, so it's a bit brutal, um, but it's very nice. Lots of swimming, so that's good. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Florian. Uh, <laughs> we had some rough couple of weeks. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, other than that, I enjoyed the summer. All right. Cool. There was a lot of stuff going on, but we hopefully get into it. And at this point, hi, Tim. We haven't, I was not there last time. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Nice meeting you too. Can you can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. It's like I nice can't hear myself when I'm speaking. Um, so I don't know. Well, I guess I'll go. Um, so I'm on vacation this week from work. That's why I look like I'm on vacation this week from work. Um, I don't know. I've been enjoying the summer. Just had a, a birthday this weekend, which I worked uh, two comedy shows and so now i really just feel like you know i'm just relaxing and, and you know the heat is keeping me in the house so i'm happy to see all you guys though so. cool um al what have you been up to um we went to maine to my wife's 35th high school reunion which is a funny time i mean it's just interesting to meet people i've never met before that's kind of fun very small, like 25 people. She's from a really small town up there, but we got to swim in a lake. It was nice, saw her father. Haven't seen him in about almost a year. So it's good, good couple of days away. Cool. Well, I haven't taken any vacations or anything like that, uh, but work has been pretty relaxed because it's summer and I work at a university. So there isn't a whole lot going on. Um, Mostly I've just been like procrastinating, like doing yard work. Like I, I get home and I'm like, oh, I got to mow my lawn, but it's so hot. I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> and then it just gets worse and worse. So that's been a lot of my summer. Uh, but anyway, cool. Uh, let's talk about the next meeting. Uh, we want to try and stick with the second Tuesday of the month, which for next month would be September 13th. So does September 13th, 6 p.m. work for everybody? All right, getting a lot of thumbs up. Tim, how are you feeling about it? Yeah, that should be good. I was just checking my calendar. Cool. All right. Um, so yeah, that's probably what we'll do. Obviously, we need to check in with some of the board members that aren't around this evening with us. 
Uh, and as Jeremy per usual, will probably, Jeremy will probably be on his honeymoon, actually. Oh, do we think, let's see here. Cause then the backup is like the 20th. Um, I mean, if it's just Jeremy, whatever, I don't care if he can't make it <laughs> just the vice president. He doesn't matter, but no, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I hope. I definitely want to touch base with everybody who's not here. Um, and the 20th will be the backup, which is just the next Tuesday. So right now we'll plan on the 13th, but depending on what other people say, it might get uh, changed to the 20th. You know, just letting you know. Cool. Um, all right. Let's talk about the minutes from uh july and i'm sorry florian are you taking minutes right now okay um i did start a doc for minutes in google docs so if you want to transfer your notes over to that at the end or if you want to just transfer it over now i don't care but as long as you know that there's that doc in there and you can transfer notes uh, into are, it. are you referring to the agenda no, the. Is there a secret word? I, the, I trans transfer it afterwards. Then yeah, I started in Word. Okay, no, it's fine. You can yeah. type it out wherever you want. Just uh, transfer it over afterward into the doc that I that I constructed. Um, but yeah, let's talk about last meeting's minutes, which I need to find real quick, and I will post them in Zoom chat. I have the link if you need. Oh, okay, did I already post them in Zoom chat? Maybe I did. I, I think you did. Okay. I'm so on the ball. Uh, <laughs> so last time at the NAM meeting, uh, we had um, myself, Al, Melissa, uh, Tim, and Jeremy were all there. Um, we confirmed when the next meeting was going to be, which is now. Uh, we called to order. Uh, we welcomed Tim to the board. That was great. So Tim be officially uh, became a board member. Very cool. Um, we approved the minutes from the previous meeting, and then we got into Al's director's report. Um, a lot of cool stuff in there, talking about the national conference in Chicago that they had went to. Uh, they won a record number of awards, so that was cool. <laughs> um, let's see. There was some bad news about that conference and that a lot of people caught COVID at it, so that was sad. Um, but let's see what else happened. There was stuff about um, Crowdsource Cinema was discussed a bit, specifically, I believe, interacting with some other organizations for that. Uh, let's see, the, the employees over at NAM did inventory, uh, always a good summer thing to do. Um, and let's see, there was some information about how Massachusetts is deliberating new policy on government meetings, um, and specifically how those are recorded and how sort of NAM is going to interact with that role because they film a lot of government meetings. Um, let's see here. We also had um, the GNCC annual event. Uh, that's cool. NAM helped produce that. Very nice. Uh, there's stuff about the Arts Trust, which we're going to get to later this meeting. And uh, the first uh, outdoor screening for Cinema Northampton in years because of the pandemic uh, happened. Uh, and it was Star Wars A New Hope at Forbes Library. Mm -hmm. And then uh, let's see, the, in uh, July, there was going to be Empire Strikes Back. So hopefully we'll hear a little bit about that. And then Return of Jedi is in August this month. Um, and just a quick update on how staff were feeling, and it was good, so that was nice. Uh, after that, we discussed bylaws revisions and, uh, you know, just a lot of little bits of the bylaws we were working on updating, um, including recording meetings, which is why this meeting is now recorded, so we added a part into the bylaws about doing that, and 
uh, some stuff. We removed some old things, like some committees that were never really used very much in the past, and we kind of felt like they weren't necessary, so we took them out. Um, and we also got some updates on membership that Florian had written for us uh, that basically just sort of expanded non-membership uh, more explicitly to uh, people outside of Northampton. And uh, also some stuff about um, voting membership and some just some details from the original bylaws that like didn't make a lot of sense and now they work a little smoother. So uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, what else did we have in here? And then we discussed a bit about um, the board policy document and how we wanna work on that. Uh, next, we talked a little bit about uh, how we also want to discuss strategy workshop at some point, talked a little bit about how um, we want to do something nice for Mary Alice, the former president of uh, the board, and we need to figure out the Arts Trust board member thing. <laughs> so that was last month's meeting in a nutshell. Uh, One comment from my side, uh, in the minutes about the proposed new work, uh, version of the membership article uh it's a technicality but in the end there's some text copied in which is not supposed to be there okay uh the updates and how it's written it would be part of the of the bylaws now i don't know what's the if you, if you look at the minutes yep if you see it and this is in membership eligibility? Uh, at the end, qualification for voting membership. You okay. Have, yeah. At the end, you have the motion and before this text motion by uh, Jeremy to amend the bylaw, you have the four lines, updated board policy progress, norm strategy workshop. Oh yeah, that's... That's obviously <laughs> not supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, no, that was, we must have copied in that text by mistake. But no, those don't have anything to do with the bylaws. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what's the procedure. Should we just take it out and then approve the minutes or? Uh, yeah, let's just take it out. Because it was just some topics that we copied over by mistake. I, yeah. Okay. All uh, right. So would someone like to motion to approve the minutes from last month? I can motion to approve the minutes from last time. Okay, I'm gonna second that. Um, and all those in favor of approving the minutes, please uh, say aye or raise your hand or both. I abstain because I was not there. Sure. Okay. All right. Um, we have approved the minutes. Um, Al, give us that director's report. Okay, so um, first thing, just a reminder to everyone, I just posted in chat the, um, the, the Google Doc for board information. This is just how we keep everyone updated in terms of um, names, addresses, emails, and phone numbers. Um, some of this information I do need because I need to pull it for an annual report that we file in fall um, for the state. But um, if you could just take a look at it and make sure your information is correct um, and edit it. If it's incorrect, that would be super helpful. Um, the site committee for the Arts Trust has been meeting regularly. So the Northampton Arts Trust, who runs the building at 33 Holly Street, has a site committee. Uh, um, and just a quick yeah. question from, for the notes. You always have this written out. Is this correct? Yeah, this is in, um, if, if you look in the chat under director's report, I posted the director's reports oh, yeah. in chat as well. Okay, got it. You Thank can you. check it out there. Yeah. Um, the site committee has been working uh, pretty hard. We've been meeting fairly regularly um, because the congressional earmark, which is going to finish the building at 33 Holly Street, which is um, somewhere north of $2 million, um, has, as you might imagine, a bunch of paperwork associated with it. Um, there's some quotes that we need to get and some plans that we need to get um, to the federal government in order to keep this money moving forward. Um, so we've been taking a look at blueprints and meeting with architects and talking about um, how the building is going to be laid out and getting those numbers together. Um, one of the good sort of stories in all this is that 
Uh, NAM is going to end up with uh, a chunk of storage in the building that it didn't have before. This is going to be uh, really great for us because we definitely need some more storage in the space. Um, we have some large items that um, we're always sort of trying to figure out how to move between the space at 33 and 380. And um, this will allow us to have a, a bit of more options in terms of where we can home stuff. Um, we continue to have a couple of staff COVID scares, meaning people who are, um, you know, who are either related to or, or partners of or surrounded by um, staff members who are getting COVID. I just wanted to point that out. We're still being very cautious with staff. We're still generally only having one person come in at a time during a shift. Um, the pandemic, we are, I guess, post pandemic sort of, but um, as is pretty clear, there's still a lot of COVID going around and we're just trying to be very um, aware of that and communicative about that um, as we move forward. Uh, I'm going to have a, a request for a few more capital items I'd like to put before the board, and I may send that to you um, in the next week or so. Um, if possible, I may request a board vote. I'll detail what those items are when I send out the email. Of course, if the board isn't comfortable voting on them that way, uh, we can wait till the next board meeting, but I'll get them in your hands in the next couple of weeks anyway. Um, some of the major items are just that staff laptops have been kind of limping around, and I think it would be uh, good to replace them sooner than later, and also that and we have some upgrades to our edit server in the 33 Holly space. Um, we got a quote from, from, um, from our contractor who's been managing that server about how to upgrade them uh, to match the fiber network upgrades that we've been doing in the building as well. Um, this is sort of hustle time for crowdsource cinema. Scenes were due um, last week. And as is typical for crowdsource cinema, they're not all in. Um, people. People generally need extensions. It's kind of a, it's kind of, it's something that a lot of people who don't do the project every year are aware of. We're often giving people extensions. It's a little bit more, I don't want to say panicky, but it's a little bit more um, important this year that we stay on top of it because we have a hard date for the screening, which is October 15th, the Academy of Music. Um, it'd be great if everyone could make that screening. Um, it's a Friday night, but uh, we want, we're going to have to have time to finish editing the film. Um, luckily, all the music is in, or most of the music is in. We just sent out a MailChimp blast today uh, to try to recruit some more people in what we call a lightning round, um, which is sort of the last minute scene creation. We've also been meeting with teams from, uh, from Vermont and Boston and talking about um, just being aware of what kind of scenes we have overlapping. So in other words, if we don't, if we have some backup in that, you know, it's possible the CrowdSource project in Vermont could finish the scene and uh, we may need that scene and get inserted into our project. So um, we're looking at a lot of angles here. We also may do some some production from staff on some of these scenes as we move forward, if that's required. How many scenes well, are you using? There's about, I think, 14 is the total of scenes that we're waiting on. Some of those are coming in. Some of those we know are coming in. Some people are super quiet and not responding to us. So we're going to try to uh, take those people who are not responding and, and um and, and start getting those scenes produced by prioritizing the ones that no one has done in any of the projects. Yeah. Um, we're gonna be marching in and live streaming the first annual Northampton Doozy Doe Parade, which is on September 17th in 2022. Um, it leaves from 33 Holly Street and ends at Pulaski Park the it's it's a parade that's put on by northampton neighbors um the it's it's not in celebration of anything in particular but the community um is sort of the nature of it um there haven't there hasn't been a parade in northampton for some time the pride parade didn't happen this year um in the way it has in past years um as you may recall there was a small uh, pride parade we covered um, within with a more intimate group of the founders of the of the Pride Parade or, or the people who were sort of still carrying that torch um, from those original founders. Um, nevertheless, the Doozy Dote Parade, um, it, it's sort of, um, it's a celebration of the city just in general. A lot of groups are getting together and marching in it. Um, we're going to be marching in it and covering it for, from inside the parade is our, is our thought. It's sort of a quirky, has a quirky culture around it. And, and the, the organizers have invited the NOM board to march as well. That could really look like anything. That could be board members carrying a sign or dressed in some kind of costume. Um, but I wanted to extend that invitation out to the board in case the board wanted to do something around that. Um, if you have interest in marching, you can contact me or the board may wanna 
um, set up an organizing group if they wanted to march as a as a, as a full board. Um, and that's coming up in about, you know, about six weeks, five or six weeks. Yeah, I, th uh, I think this is a good point. Do we want to, as a board, do something about this? Uh, should we organize something? Do we, do we have the time? It's already like if we have the meeting on the 12th, it would be shortly afterwards. Yeah. Not, not too much time. Uh, let's, uh, let's send an, I'll send an email out to the whole board after this meeting ends and see how everybody's feeling about if they want to if they want to walk in it i can also send information about the parade out to everyone so you have a better sense um in case my description isn't, uh, isn't really isn't clear okay that's cool yeah um another reminder that the arts trust is still looking for a non-board member to be on the board Again, that doesn't have to be a member of the non board. It can be, or it can be anyone that the non board appoints. Um, so I'm just going to continue to to message that out to the board um, until until that sort of emerges. Um, we've had a second summer outdoor screening of Cinema Northampton, which is The Empire Strikes Back. The third one is at the end of August, and will be Return of the Jedi, a very Star Wars themed um, summer for us at now. Um, we're going to be covering a public forum, some things that are coming up for sheriff candidates in partnership with the League of Women Voters. And also Amherst Media is going to be helping us out with that. Um, that's the League of Women Voters for both Northampton and Amherst. That's a that's a countywide seat. So there's a couple of uh, candidates that that public forum will be held actually at 33 Holly Street. Um, and that same week, we're also going to be doing performance, formerly trans performance, um, which happens over at Look Park. There's a number of different groups from local community media centers that are going to be helping us to produce that, which is really uh, a lot of fun. Um, we've also been approached um, by groups from the Chamber of Commerce in the city to play a role in what's called the Northampton Vibrancy Project. Um, this project is sort of um, early in development and that the goal of it is really just to bring back um, life and energy and traffic to downtown Northampton. Um, there's a number of ideas being thrown around, and one of those ideas has to do with putting some screens downtown um, in some window spaces uh, of places that are currently empty, of storefronts that are currently empty, and, and doing some promotional video work um, just to, to showcase things going on in the city. Um, so one idea would be that NAM would help in producing that kind of video. Um, we'd re receive some kind of either barter for publicity um, in exchange or possibly um cash as well it's something with that we're early in discussion about um but it's something i'm going to bring back to the board and talk about as we get more details and figure out what what sort of like who is the contact there is it the chamber of commerce or it's a, it's a chamber of commerce it's a chamber of commerce project that's also um also the, it's a partnership and I don't, I don't know exactly the nature of the partnership but it's between the chamber of commerce and economic development in the city um so there's just, you know, there's the business community and sort of the bit, the outward looking um, economic facets of, of the city government that are working together to try to make this happen. Mm -hmm. um, it's really promoting, it's promoting business and culture and arts and events in the city. Um, really, you know, a lot of people are still seeing pretty low numbers post pandemic um, or whatever phase of the pandemic we're in. Um, at, at things like events, um, and so so this group is just trying to look at how to how to sort of bring those groups back and create a more vibrant city and return to that vibrant city. What's the time frame for those initiatives? It's over the next, I believe it's the next year and a half. Okay. Yeah. Is it, is it worth looking into something like a? Tell your story about Northampton creativity project for filmmakers, something like that. I mean, that could certainly be a facet of it. Um, it's it's really there's there it, it's kind of in beginning stages. They're trying to look at what what is available in terms of storefronts and what's usable. Um, the next step after that, I think, is what kind of technology will be required to put that kind of display up in a storefront. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a whole discussion around content that 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 happens after that. I think. Yeah, that's a challenging topic for the town. Yeah. Uh, what, 
what is the plan for the rebuilding of the of downtown? Like the redesign, it's like 2030 or something like that. It's a long. Story. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a pretty long plan. I mean, it's a question I think the city's been asking itself for quite a long time, anyways. Um, as it seems like demographics have 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 shifted a little inside the city. Um, that's all my reporting for you this month. Um, one question is regarding the arts trust. We're, we're carrying this with us for a long time. How, how urgent is it that we get another board member? And if, it's, if you classify it as urgent, what can we as a board do besides nominating one of our sets? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it certainly seems like the board is 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 the, the members of the board itself um, have not been sort of stepping forward with excitement to fill this this role. Um, one possibility would just be to um, I could send out a message of interest to the community, meaning to our membership, and see if anyone in our membership has interest in representing the board on the trust, and then the board could vet and take a look at those 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 people who reply to that and see if they have any comfort level around you know putting forward one of those candidates um, another option is just getting a group of the board together to try to do some brainstorming i think one of those two two would be great i wouldn't say it's urgent in terms of it needs to happen next month but i think it would be really good to have it happen by year end did, did we ask tim <laughs> i don't think anyone's asking someone mentioned it to tim and I don't know how much Tim, like, I'm happy to uh, have a conversation with Tim about the Arts Trust, depending upon how much he knows about it. But I don't know. I think it was mentioned at the end of the meeting. Yeah, I mean, I'd just like to know more information what, uh, uh, what the Arts Trust does and what I would have to do as far as that. Because, you know, um, I just don't want to take on too much that, you know, where, you know, I can't get my full attention to it. That's the same thing I said. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, the, I was going to suggest when we got to the agenda item about the Arts Trust member that um, we send out an email to general non-membership to see who was interested. Um, so, Al, if you could do that and then also send some information to Tim, and those will be the, the two options we can try to work from. Um, a concrete idea, sorry, I forgot her name, but uh, the second person who ran when uh, for, for the term I'm on, she was expressing that she might be interested in, in working with the board. If, if, uh, uh, that would be Cynthia, Cynthia Stanton. Uh, if, if you want to reach out to her, Ellie, it just makes sense. Um, I also attached financials here, and I don't know. Um, we could take a look at those financials as part of the director's report if you, report if you want. Um, um, it's a snapshot of our of our sort of our half year point and our first two quarters. Um, I linked that in the chat as well. Um, and I don't know if the board wants me to sort of go through this generally or or take a look at it and field questions. Um, either way, it's fine with me. I know it was a late, uh, late addition to, to everyone's email chain. Uh, given that those are the overall numbers, we, we had the other format. Let's, I would propose to do it next time in the consolidated version. Yep. If, there, if there's no questions. Yeah, I just hadn't gotten a chance to look at it yet. Yeah, of course. I mean, I think I think everything looks pretty pretty in line. Um, there's nothing that that I'm finding alarming myself, but um, but um, we can put together that consolidated report and talk about it in detail next time. Yeah, like that. I think that goes a little bit scoring into uh, my direction as well. Like we missed last month. Technically, we said every three months we are presenting the 
the overview to have the discussion a little bit more often, and we missed that. Uh, so yeah, we should make sure that this goes on the agenda every every quarter, the end of every quarter. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So we'll talk about that next time. Um, let's see here. Okay, we kind of already decided what we're gonna do for the Arts Trust member thing. Uh, then our next topic was gonna be the board policy document, which I have open right in front of me and I can link into chat. Uh, let's see here. Da, da, da. I believe that is the right one. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is a document that was started, as I recall, by Florian and Jeremy, just to sort of uh, go into more detail about the different um, uh, pos board position responsibilities and also like committees and like what they're trying to be doing, but it's still really drafty right now. So um, I'm just wondering like, what, what do we want to try to, um, like what section of it do we want to try to finish up next? Or like what, what part of it should we focus on? And I figured Florian would probably have the best idea of that considering he was one of the progenitors of the document. Yeah. Like uh, as Alex said, the idea was we have the bylaws which are technical and they're a little bit dry and sometimes they can interpret it in, in a lot of different ways. And this was like a cookbook, what are the things we have to do on a regular basis uh, and that we have an easier way of, of kind of following up the guidelines, uh, the, the bylaws as well. Um, we start as the main point was there's a few committees which are in the bylaws which are not fully followed by everything uh, well, with how, how we ran in the meetings. Uh, so we start looking at that uh, and we had a few proposals. Um, I think the main thing is that we keep up the, the conversation so everyone who sees something which they feel bylaws don't match reality or if there's proposals how to do anything uh, is more than welcome to pick something up if they if they want to. Uh, I think to answer your question, Alex, uh, my recommendation would be uh, to work on the, the overview calendar. And we had already some conversation around that, that we have one sheet where we, for example, have in there which months need to do the, to be done the financial review. Which months do we have to do certain appointments for the next year, stuff like that. Uh, That it's really that we have one calendar which which helps us defining what goes into the meetings and what are our tasks for each meeting. Okay. Um, I think it, it fits actually quite well with the topic of the the, the uh, strategy review. Um, I don't know, does it make sense to look at this together and try to produce something where we have, where everyone is working on? Yeah, so we had, cause I know this was something that you had talked about. We had kind of hoped to do it this summer, but since people's schedules have been a little wonky over the summer because vacations and whatnot. I, I have noticed. <laughs> 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 everyone is somewhere else during different times and so on yeah, yeah. um we did want to try to get the board together and do like a workshop where we talk about stuff like the policies doc um and just kind of make like i don't know i was hoping we could do something like a five-year plan or some sort of some forward-looking stuff about like where we want nom to be and how we plan to get there um, so just to have some sort of workshop session where we all got together and, as a board and did this um, and try to make it fun in some way. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so I think if we could try to figure out like when we want to do that, because I assume Florian and everybody else 
this is like a thing we'd want to do in person, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, and it would be, I don't know, probably like an afternoon or something, like so, or an evening, like some chunk of time, like three hours or five hours or something like that. Um, so just like when do people think would be a good time to get together and sit down and do that? Like maybe in the later fall or... When is Jeremy's wedding? September. It's in early it's September. Uh, and is it going on honeymoon afterwards? <laughs> it's September 9th. I don't I don't know his honeymoon plans. <laughs> I think yeah, it would be good that everyone is there and Jeremy was was very involved in those things, I think. Well, yeah, I think that's so, definitely the main thing for me is to make sure the entire board the entire can attend board. so yeah. we can all sort of put our heads together for it. Um, so yeah, if we want to try to think of about doing something like, like late September, early October, maybe, um, we could do like, uh, I don't know, we could do like a dinner thing or something else. I'm not sure any, any suggestions people have for that are, I'm totally open to. Um, I, I think my recommendation would be, we don't want to do this too often, so I would rather spend a little bit more time yeah if, if, yeah uh, than too little uh, and also that we are very clear what is our goal we want to achieve that it's very focused uh you proposed five-year plan for a norm uh, uh and, and what I would have been thinking was exactly board policy that we that we see how we close the gap between the ideas and how we translate them into the actions that we create more consistency in there. Um, but that, that we have a, it doesn't matter what the topic is, uh, just that we know what we want to achieve in, in the, the hours we spend together. Okay. Uh, and it's obviously a nice thing to, to meet each other, but. Yeah, I think to, to me, those two things are the biggest, is figuring out the policy doc and how it's gonna be constructed and like what the different sections of it are gonna contain and then figure out some sort of plan for the future. Um, so that's what the, yeah, those are definitely the things I wanna focus on. Um, but yeah, I'm wondering about other input, especially from Nola or Tim, what do you folks think about like this kind of thing and what we should be doing at it? Yeah, um, I think it's a really good idea. I mean, I have no like specific strong opinions. I mean, I think a few hours is good and I think late fall is also good. Also in terms of like what we should do, I think a balance of like work workshopping and getting to know each other as well. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, th this is the thing. Um, well, as far as like the dinner thing, I'm like, if we, you know, I'm just the type to like, you know, if we're going there to focus, let's focus and get what we, you know, done, you know, because um, oftentimes I just feel, in my case, that like, when you throw, the more elements you throw into something, the, the less work you do, the more distracted you are, you know what I mean? Um, and I mean, like for me, I like late September, because I mean, you're still going to be possibly be outside then, you know what I mean? Like in or out, it does, you, got, you got more options at that point. Yeah. So, I mean. But or dinner, like I said, if we just want to go hang out with me and we have dinner, I'm perfectly fine with that too. <laughs> um, well, now now that I'm thinking of it, what I'm formulating in my mind is I can put together some sort of schedule for the event where it's like, okay, we're going to do like this chunk of the policy doc. We're all going to sit together. We're going to brainstorm that. And then as soon as that's finished, we like play a game or eat something or do something to like like more chill. And then as soon as we're done with that, we hit this next thing that we need to do, you know? So it's like segmented a little bit and broken up. So it's not all just like dry document writing the whole time. Cause that's, I mean, it's important to get done but it, it can be a little mind numbing. Um, so yeah, I, I could put together some sort of schedule for it but yeah, I'm liking this sort of um, doing it sometime like mid to late fall, I think. And Tim's suggestion of being able to like do stuff outside also would be really cool. 
one of those things I've wanted to do more this whole summer is just go outside. But every time I do, I'm like, oh, this isn't pleasant at all. I want to go back inside. It's too hot out. <laughs> so I feel like by the time September, like late September rolls around and it's actually cool enough to do stuff outside, I'm going to be like very into that idea. <laughs> um, but uh, cool. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, I will, um, I will put together some potential dates for that, probably like on a weekend or something. And I'll throw those out in an email to the whole board and we'll see like what people are thinking about, like when they're going to be available. Um, so yeah, that's my plan for that. Good. Cool okay so um oh speaking of fun things to do together as a board uh we want to try and do something nice for mary alice uh i think last meeting we had discussed about how we were going to offer her an honorary board position and she politely declined she's like i don't need that but she appreciated it um so we just there's still always been this idea bouncing around of like should we do something should we like take her out to dinner or just like do something nice to her be, for her because you know we're recognizing her service as the president for the years that she did that um and i know that means less to like tim and nola because you weren't really around for when she was president um but yeah uh if we want to try and uh I don't know what, uh, I guess, Florian, do you want to just do like, like a, a dinner thing or like get her a gift or something? What, do you have any ideas for that? Uh, I think we can kill two flies with one go. Why don't okay. we take her out to dinner and meet in person with everyone? If everyone already feels comfortable, um, then we go out for dinner and invite her and. Okay. Uh, we just make her part of the workshop. <laughs> no, that, that we have, that we do it before, <laughs> like that we, we're we're August now. That we, I don't know. Is it possible in the next couple of weeks that we just do it and say thank you in this way? Yeah, I mean I don't. Yeah, it, it should it shouldn't be such a big thing, but in this way, uh, maybe I'll sing something for her. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Al, please. I need you. <laughs> Did you say Al sing something for her? <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Okay. I mean, if we can do that, it's not gonna. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be grueling. <laughs> um, I, didn't, I didn't know we had that in our back pocket that we could just sign up Al to serenade people. But now that I know, this is gonna be a great option going forward. No, I, I think the question is, what is our budget for those things? Do we like? Is this? I, I, I don't. Yeah, as it has never done before. Should we? I, I get her a massage voucher. I don't know, something like that. Um, I think something would be nice to everything. Yeah. Um, question is, what what is appropriate for such an such an event? Sure. Um, I mean, I would be cool with just um, what who whatever board members would like to chip in can chip in and like any you know nom members i don't want to like dip into nom's budget for it i think that would be weird um but yeah okay um and then it, that is the question do we want to set just the dinner up rather sooner or is this something which with the planning time takes. <laughs> Are we talking about fall again? <laughs> um, why don't we contact her and be like, hey, when are you free to like do dinner? She'll give us a date or a couple of dates. And then we'll just see which of who from the board is around then and like who from also from the staff is around then and just wants to like join in on that. I feel like that would be keep it pretty casual um don't make it so that like everybody has to be there but you know if they want to pop in that's cool yeah okay uh i you have taken all the tasks so far for today <laughs> Alex. so I, I i can uh i can send you an email okay that'd be great and, and check in so cool um but okay yeah we'll uh we'll try and do that
And uh, that's pretty much everything because we already talked about our plans for the Arts Trust member. Um, cool. So we're going to be setting up some, some fun meetings and things for the future. Um, anything else anybody wanted to add? I, right. say, I, I have a question. Um, sure. So uh, just hypothetically, if I wanted to introduce something to the meeting for next time, what's the proper procedure to go about that? Um, usually before the meetings, I send the email out with the agenda. And that mm -hmm. agenda is a Google Doc, which you can just jump in and edit. So if you, as soon as you see it, um, you could also email me ahead of time and be like, I want to add this to the agenda and then I'll put it in when I'm making the agenda. But typically what I try and do is at little, around a week out, that's when I send out the agenda. And yeah, once you have it, you can feel free to just add stuff into it. Okay, thanks. And I welcome any agenda items that you'd like to add. So <laughs> I would love it. Uh, all right, well, this was a pretty pretty short, pretty efficient meeting. We got through a lot of stuff. We made some plans. We're figuring it out. Uh, thanks, everybody. Do we have a motion to adjourn? I move for a motion to adjourn. A second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thanks, everybody. Great Thank meeting. You so. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. Stop recording. Have a good night.